Eighth graders, this is to help you with question seven on CR 25. It says, find the volume in cubic centimeters of the solid shown below, where the height from the base to the very top is 12 centimeters. The height of just the cylinder is seven centimeters. The diameter of the bottom circle is eight centimeters, and then we're going to round to the two decimal places. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to decompose this into a cone and a cylinder. So what we'll do is we'll take the volume of the cone and just add that to the volume of the cylinder. So you have to know the formula for the volume of a cone. For the volume of a cone, the formula is pi times the, ooh, I forgot my one-third. A cone will be one-third of a cylinder. And your teachers might go through, we used to do an activity with um, some rice and a cone and a cylinder that, that were the same height to prove that for any cone, if you have a cylinder of the same height, and you have the same diameter across the cone and the um, cylinder that the volume of the cone will be one-third times the volume of your cylinder, which is pi times r squared times h. h here will be the height of the cone. r for this case will be the radius of the cone. The radius of the cone and the cylinder will match because those circular bases fit right on top of each other. Plus, and then the volume of your cylinder is pi r squared h. And that will be the height of the cylinder. And r will be the radius of the cylinder. So once you find your volume of your cone and the volume of your cylinder, you'll add them together and then we'll round to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so let's find our volume of our cone. So if I look at the cone, let's talk about how to find the height of this cone. Well, to find the height of the cone, I know the overall height of the object, object is 12. I know the height of my cylinder is 7. Well, 7 plus 5 would be 12. So the height of my cone must be 5 centimeters because 7 and then 5 more gets you to 12. So for my cone, the height of my cone is 5 centimeters. The radius of my cone, radius is half a diameter. So if I know my diameter is 8, centimeters, my radius will be just half of that. My radius will be four centimeters. So this radius is four centimeters. This radius is four centimeters. So the radius would be four centimeters. So for the volume of my cone, I'll do volume equals one third times pi times my radius of four squared times my height for my cone of five. So this is one third pi times 16 times 5. What's 16 times 5? 16 times 5 is 80. So this is 1 third times 80 or 80 thirds pi. Now I can round that off. None of these answers are even close, so I don't have to even worry really about my rounding. But if you take 80 divided by 3, you'll get 26 and 2 thirds times your pi. Use your calculator. So this is approximately 83.7758. I know I've gone out more than two decimal places, but it'll help me with my rounding after. So now let's look at our cylinder. Oops. Think about how to spell cylinder. Let's look at our cylinder. Cylinder. 
cylinder. I'm just not doing a great job with spelling today. Cylinder. All right. So let's look at our cylinder. The height of our cylinder, they give us the height. When they tell us what S is, they give us this height. The height of our cylinder is 7 centimeters. And then let's look at the radius of our cylinder. Well, the radius of our cylinder actually matches the radius of our cone because it sits right on top of that. So the radius of our cylinder is 4 centimeters. So the volume of our cylinder is pi r squared h. So that's pi times the radius is 4 squared. The height of this is 7. The height of our cylinder is 7. So that's pi times 16 times 7, and 16 times 7 is 112. So that's 112 times pi. And so if I take 112 times pi on our calculator, we get approximately 351.85. This would be centimeters cubed. Volume is cubic centimeters, centimeters cubed. All right, now we got to add them. Oh, where am I going to show that work? Oh, my God. Whew. So now i got to add them up. I guess I'll just add them in the middle here. 351.858 plus 83.77. Oh, plus 83.7758 gets us to about 435.63. There you have it. Oops, sorry. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Centimeters cubed. There's the total volume. So the volume of our cone was 83.7758, plus the volume of our cylinder was 351.858, and that got us to approximately 435.63 cubic centimeters. There you have it. Hope that helps.